525 here at Channel 17. <laughs> I was waiting for my countdown. I'm sorry. Coming no countdown today. Coming I told to you this is not going to be formal today. <laughs> so welcome to Live at 525 here on Channel 17, and welcome to the CCTV holiday party. Uh, we thought this would be a great opportunity to recognize uh, all of the hard work uh, that goes into getting seven, Channel 17 on the air and also uh, the other divisions of CCTV such as Cyber Skills in the Old North End Tech Center. Uh, so I'd like, with further ado, to introduce Lauren Wendavidian to uh, get us rolling. Hey, well, it's great to be here. It's the holiday party. It's the shortest day of the year. It's a big full moon. It's a great night. And here we are with wonderful friends and uh, supporters and volunteers in the audience. There you go. There you can see George Dunbar right in the front. <laughs> there he is, he is in the front. <laughs> George Dunbar is the chair of the Channel 17 trustees, and uh, we have a number of other wonderful people in the audience. But what we first wanted to do was start with um, an award of recognition to Carol Mader, who has served on the Channel 17 Board of Trustees for 10 years and um, has resigned from the town of Colchester and will be leaving us, although we're hoping to keep her on the Channel 17 Trustees Board. So we'd like Carol to come up because we have a uh, beautiful plaque here and a gift for her for her next stage in life. Carol. Now we know that being on TV is just, um, <laughs> you've been trying to avoid being on TV for 10 years, but here you are. <laughs> it's great you're here. And we want to thank you yeah, so thank much you. for your 10 years of service, yeah. being a treasurer, counting the money, making sure that we're solvent, making sure Adelphia pays their bills. I do, I do that. <laughs> I him by, by yearly. And you do a really good job of it. <laughs> so we may have to keep you for that. And um, we have a little gift here because yeah. we know how much you love key lines. Oh. So this is your, this is your fabulous parting gift. <laughs> so thank you so much for everything. We really appreciate it. And um, is there anything you want to say about <laughs> here, I'll give you my mic. I get kind of overwhelmed at these goodbyes, but I will try to make it through one more. Um, I think I hear the baby. The baby. Bella. <laughs> the star of this show. When I started in 1989, I think Channel 17 was run primarily out of your living room, and um, then we got Adelphia funding, and as you can see, we've made leaps and bounds and come as far as we have, and I'm just so grateful for that. Nat and Lauren Glenn have obviously been the stable anchor of this whole organization, and given the fruitation that we currently have, but I think that they both agree that it's staff, volunteers, and everybody here that really, really makes Channel 17 what it is. And our goal is government access, or not anybody is certainly not going to get rich at this. It's really um, a labor of love, and um, I've just been really <coughs> proud and humbled and very glad to be a part of it all. And with that, Thank you. Thank you. Carol, mm -hmm. thanks. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Uh, <laughs> I love that. All right. So I'm going to turn it over to Jeff and Matt, who are going to give some certificates of achievement and um, awards out to uh, some of our wonderful volunteers. Hey. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> I've got to, I've got to uh, bring the child on television. Okay. Okay. I'll s we'll start with Jonathan. Barisi, Jonathan Barisi, Channel 17 cameraman. <laughs> Where is he? So I got to tell you, Jonathan not only just runs the camera w once in a while in the studio for the live show, but he also came up with the idea of some promotion for Channel 17 which is very rare. Channel 17 has no public service announcements on television. It doesn't you know, put ads in the paper or, or anything. But Jonathan came up and said, why don't you put a poster around town? And so we said, gee, that sounds like a pretty decent idea. So we made up this poster, and Jonathan has gone around and put up, I don't know, 150 of them or so? 200? 50 every uh, couple of weeks. 50 every couple of weeks. And actually, I, in the last city council meeting, I think uh, 
Um, Matt Gardy, who used to be a Channel 17 representative, was telling us how he was sick and tired of having to go around the town and rip down all these old posters. I hope he's not ripping down the Channel 17 ones. But anyway, this is, uh, we've, we made up these little certificates of achievement and appreciation, and there is yours. And thank you, thank you very much. And I think Jeff is going to hand out some more. Yes, I have some more, Nat. And I think it's important to mention that this live show that you see every evening at 525 is staffed by volunteers. Uh, volunteers run the cameras. They direct the broadcast. And without them, it wouldn't be possible. There's certainly not the money to pay the staff to do all these sorts of things. So we have many valued volunteers. Uh, the first one I'd like to call up is Carl. Carl Jokes, come on up. It's Carl Lee. <laughs> Here. It's, it's there he is. Carl's here. There he is. Thank you so much for all your hard work. Carl is here on the cameras every Monday night. Uh, we also have, who's running camera two right now, David Schoolcraft. David, come on up. Thanks very much for all your hard work. And next, our newest volunteer who just uh, came in for his first night on Tuesday night, Tom Azarian. Come on up, Tom. Brand new volunteer. So if you keep throwing Christmas parties like these and recognizing you on your second night, I suppose you'll stick around. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much, Tom. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. And Tulia, come on up. Another on camera one. Tulia is here. What day is she here? She is here on Friday night. So thank you very much. Excellent camera person. And we also have Tyler Dion. <laughs> Who doesn't Tyler. want to come up here? Come on up. Make come on up. Here. Tyler actually is also, um, he's uh, one of the Thanks, participants Tyler. in Channel 16's, I don't know what you call it, but it's a, a student show. And uh, they've done one, which is really great. And I hope you guys see it. I don't know how often it runs on Channel 16. It's all the time. It's all, all the, the time. time. <laughs> Good. But it's really, it is really great to see all these. Uh, they get it's a show where where kids are are talking, which is you know really it's a real treat, and um, so I I hope people tune in and catch it. Yeah, and Tyler volunteers on Wednesdays and Thursday nights running camera, and he has agreed to uh, start directing. So as of oh, tomorrow night, oh. Tyler will be uh, directing the broadcast that you see on Thursday night. So we thank him. And I have one final one for Alexis Holloway, who's only been a volunteer for a month and now is a formal member of our staff. But we felt we should recognize all your volunteer efforts for the past month. And it's always nice when we can hire a volunteer on staff. So thank you. Thank you. That's all I have, but you have a little something more in it. Yep. So um, I'm going to go around this side, though. Uh, Doug Chiaffi. <laughs> oh, oh, so you got to come up right here. Right here. Yeah, right here. Right there. Water, Stop. Water balloon. <laughs> That's a little closer. Put a microphone on. Yeah, you can put a microphone. <laughs> now I got to tell you, no one, no one in the world is getting a single Christmas present from me this year. I have put my all my energies <laughs> into you. <laughs> So Doug has worked for, you can turn around too if you want. <laughs> We're not going to do anything for a minute. But Doug has been uh, actually an integral member of Channel 17 for ever since it started, even before. I first met Doug, met Doug when he was sitting. We have a, I, have, I think we have a video of it, but I can't, couldn't know where it is. Anyway, he used to come out and sit at the city, Burlington City Council meetings in the same chair, meeting after meeting after meeting. And since I was there meeting after meeting after meeting, I you know, started to get to know him a little bit. And then when Channel 7, that was when CCTV did these meetings, and it was on Channel 15. Then we started Channel 17, and Doug, I guess, wanted a job. So we put him behind a camera, and he has been off and on for the, ever since. It's been 10, 9, 10 years? Well, Glenn isn't around anymore. Too long, yeah. Too long. Right. <laughs> And not only does so, not only has he volunteered for the live show, but he has shot the meetings. You know, all these wonderful meetings. South Burlington was his beat for a long time. And he, not only that, but he uh, 
he watches also. And so, Religiously. and not only just for his own entertainment or benefit, but he will, if the channel, if, you know, if I've made a mistake and that I didn't put a tape <laughs> in or something, he'll call me up at home. <laughs> and I don't mind it if it's at 2 o'clock in the morning because I'm usually up then. But it's when he calls it like 8 o'clock Sunday morning. That's, <laughs> that is too much. But anyway, every Christmas, Doug has come up to me and said, where is my Christmas goose? <laughs> he, wants, he wants something back. No, I, I wanted a goose. Well, can you come over a little closer? <laughs> <laughs> Can you come over there? <laughs> You're a little nervous, aren't you? No, no. Oh, someone's got to get that phone number. Chris? He's, gone. He's not gone. No, he's I'm, not, I'm at monitor. Anyway, <laughs> I really, I, have, I, I called the Vermont Department of Agriculture yes. to try to find a live goose. And <laughs> Oh, the cats will love it. Oh, that's this is not actually a live one. They'll eat it anyway. But I, I was this close to getting a live goose in the studio. Well, and if Chris will bring that phone number, Chris, we could actually money. call them up, and she will, and this person will talk to you. Pick it up, pick it up. It's you. Well, it's, well, it's a goose, you know. The, I mean, it's a, it's a cooked goose. It's not cooked. No. Okay. Heavy. It is very heavy. But there is your Christmas goose. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I'll I'll wear it well. And I, well deserved. And I did get you a present uh, that I would like to present to you, uh, which is something to remind you of the old oh. days. I don't a package of cigarettes. That's very kind of you, Doug. You can have them right back. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ned. So we have no phone number to call, but anyway. Well, and it is true. I, I found someone who has a live goose. They would have brought it over, but we had nothing to carry it in. Ah, well, this is what we would have had to clean up that. We would have. It would have been quite something. But ten more years. Ten more years. I, I would just like to say that... that the reason I like Channel 17 is I'm, I'm, I'm a sort of a political junkie, and I've been interested in local government ever since I took a, my first course with Andy Newquist back at UVM, who was the dean of local government. And I've, I've been to lots of town meetings and city council meetings, planning and zoning meetings and things, and, and to me, that's, that's where it's all happening. That's, where you can see democracy work. Um, and although Chris thinks it doesn't change much, uh, that's the beauty of it. There are rules and procedures and laws that have to be followed and a certain order to it. And uh, in a society that uh, sometimes lacks a lot of order, um, I think you can find it at the local government level, whether it's a zoning board meeting or a, or a planning commission meeting or a city council meeting. And hopefully, uh, Channel 17 is going to get into uh, uh, holding <coughs> live uh, or taped uh, committee meetings or, or uh, legislative meetings in Montpelier, either the Senate or the House. And uh, uh, then people will be able to see how that body operates. I mean, they, they pretty much know now, thanks to Channel 17, how, a, how a, a, a select board meeting goes, or a city council meeting, or a, a planning commission meeting. Because usually, the only people there are the people on the, the board and, and, and the camera, uh, except for, you know, if it's a hot issue, there's a lot of people there. But um, I think Channel 17 does a great service in bringing local government to the people and that's what it's all about is uh, having people interested and i don't know how many people i've talked to have been elected or appointed to various town offices around chittenden county that uh, said they got interested by watching it on channel 17 and they learned the procedure and you know how how things go and and they uh, put their name in for an appointment or ran for election uh, uh, 
and uh, I think they do a great job, although most people don't watch every meeting. Um, if, if you do catch the ones that, that uh, you're interested in for uh, whatever topic is on, uh, I, I think you'll uh, get a good sense of how the government works at the local level. And that's, uh, I want to thank Nat and Lauren Glenn for allowing me to <laughs> tape all these meetings and run the live show for years. Uh, at no compensation, I might add, but I, uh, I did learn a valuable skill. Good. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> yeah, no, thanks. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. So I don't know whether we can, does anyone out there and who are sitting around want to say anything? <laughs> Richard? Anyone? Anyone? Zimmy, you can go up to Zim, you, Zimmy's got a microphone which he'll point at you. Well, I think this is an absolutely delightful little party that we're having here, but it just is really very significant if one just looks back and you really have to know where you came from to where you're going to go. And I remember this station on Lafayette Place or what, what? La Fountain Street. And to see that we now have a studio and cameras and volunteers and stuff is absolutely magnificent. And what Doug had to say about um, bringing government to the people is a very significant kind of thing. And I'm glad to be a part of this. Thanks. Jim, anyone else? <laughs> not, not Jim. OK, well, I guess uh, that's, gonna that's wrap probably it. It. that's going to wrap it up. Oh, Stella has something. Stella's not been on TV yet. There's Stella Rose. She awake? She doesn't like the lights. Here we go. No, well she doesn't, we don't have to get her started with that yet. We can, it's okay. We can <laughs> mic her closely. We have a close-up. There we go. There we go. Close-up of the, of the child. <laughs> Spend a lot of time adoring the child. Here we go. All right, that's fine. That's enough adoration. Thank you. <laughs> Any closing comments, Lauren Glenn? I'm wondering if Dean um, or Tom want to say anything as our Channel 17 board people. Dean Shaver is our uh, Burlington representative. And, um, oh, I know. And um, Tom James is our Essex representative, and we're very fortunate to have um, all these municipal leaders who set the policy for Channel 17. And they spend a lot of time, and they're in the middle right now negotiating with Adelphia Cable, and um, we really need to give them a lot of credit because they give this channel legitimacy and guidance, and uh, we appreciate their time. So thank you very much. You know, the other thing we did forget is that those, a lot of the uh, Cyber Skills Tech Center people were here at this party and they have they ran out rather quickly when the live show started to get near. Although Matthew Tenney is actually oh, we ha we get a shot of Matthew Tenney is the director he didn't even get the certificate. The Maybe Tyler can uh, take a shot of Matt since he, he didn't want to be up here. He's probably he can actually oh, he block himself the, he out. The shot. Come on, Matthew. <laughs> Chris, there we go, David, we good. Matt <laughs> Tenney is the tech director at the Old North End Community Technology Center, and he's also um, been directing and working here at CCTV and Channel 17 for the past several months. So we're very fortunate because he continues to volunteer. And um, for those of you who don't know, we run the Old North End Community Tech Center, which is a place where you can get computer training and computer access for a dollar a day. Yeah. So that's um, one of our projects. and. Uh, CCTV is 15 years old this um, this year, so we're in our 16th year. It's quite exciting. Jeff, thank you very much no for holding that mic. No problem. And I'm going to let you guys wrap up.